My name's Steven Lehman. I'm a freelance film editor and high school film teacher working in Sarasota, Florida. In this video, we're talking all about my favorite new feature in the latest release of Final Cut Pro X. Specifically, I'm talking about the 10.4.9 release. The one that introduced all the new proxy workflows a few months ago. There's a bunch of huge features, but there's one new, seemingly small function that no one seems to be talking about that has sped up my workflow exponentially. That's the new crossfade function. If we go into the menus under modify, adjust audio fades, crossfade, we see that it doesn't even have a keyboard shortcut assigned. So apparently they have added a keyboard shortcut to that. But if I go to customize my keyboard settings and I click on T, it doesn't show up under the option T command. So I don't know what that's about. I've gone through and made my own custom preset and I've put it to option C. It's simple, but let me show you what it does. So I've got two clips here and I want to crossfade this audio. Before I'd select them both, hit control S to expand the audio, drag each side over and add my fades, select them both again and control S to collapse back down. I'll undo that. Now all I have to do is select my clips, use my newly assigned keyboard shortcut option C and I'm done. Now, if you're not close enough, you won't actually see what happens. So let me undo that and I will zoom in directly on this edit point. And again, I will hit option C. And you see it's added these two fades. I'm gonna undo that one more time and then hit control S to expand the audio. From this perspective, when I hit option C, you see exactly what happens. We've moved the endpoint of this clip over, we've automatically added a fade. We've moved the out point of this clip over and we've added a fade. So I'm going to, again, undo that. I'll zoom back out just so you can see. I'll expand all these and then hit option C and you'll see all of these have been added. So what would have normally taken me a couple minutes, I can now do with the click of one keystroke. If you want to grab my set of keyboard shortcuts, I've left a link in the video description. I'm using this on narrative stuff just to smooth transitions between clips, but it's become hugely helpful for a client I have here on YouTube. They have a sailing lifestyle vlog channel. This for vlog style footage has changed everything. When I have a talking to camera segment where I'm editing out kind of little mistakes and have that jump cut style, this crossfade allows me to select an entire section of that, hit option C and I'm done. I don't have to go back and add those crossfades manually. That leads me more time to be creative and make a more engaging edit instead of worrying about those little fine details. Thanks for watching. This is my first video like this, so subscribe if you want to follow along in my journey and we'll grow in our craft together. See you next time. <laughs>